had my first cigarette when I was 13. When I found out how bad it was, I tried to quit. But I couldn't. They say nicotine isn't addictive. How can they say that? Thirteen minutes and forty-four seconds. I don't know why it says that. Well, we can no longer show the outside because the abandoned mine lands folks are closing these things up at a record rate. And um, is that a rat's nest back there? Yeah. There's a hook on that log. And I mean they're closing them up at a record rate. They're, they're bragging right now that they've closed up thousands of abandoned mines in Utah. So... There is cold air blowing out, so that would suggest it's pretty hot outside. That's a face. Dude, this thing is old. Look at, look at the natural logs for rail bed. Oh. Well, that information was not false, was it? About the incline? I told you it wasn't as bad as he was saying. No, well, look, it kind of goes vertical yeah, right there. The ladder's good for the most part. Very interesting. Dude. Oh, man. It's still there. Oh, check it out from over here, Drake. Good picture. Yeah, there's square nails. Look. They got old hand forged square nails holding this together. This is indeed 1800s. Yeah, this is. This is old. Check out those bolts. See those bolts right there holding those that natural log together? Yeah. Dude, look at the fucking the bell signal is still there. Is it? Yeah, the bell signal. Parts of the hoist in here. The hoist was Oh, the hoist went up and over. Okay. Well, let's finish this level out. And then we'll come back to this. Ooh, cut and fill action. Check out the wood, man. Oh, it's... Oh, check it out, Drake. Dude. So, so is this what you were seeing? Yeah. So there's the drum. So the sheath wheel would have been right there, right? So this was the hoist room right there is looking back down into the incline. A little cut and fill action. Check out the check out the way they yeah, they angled that wood to keep that waste in there. Yeah. 
Yep. That don't look that old though. It's Maybe. 80s. Some nice color. Here's another stope. Here's an ore chute. Oh, and here's where the air is blowing in. Feel it? Yeah. Wow. Dude, it is old. Look at look at the. Uh, yeah, it's wood with metal on top. Wood with metal, yeah, strapped. Wow, you want to talk about hard rock, man. Look at look at this. This thing has been sitting idle for more than a hundred years and there's zero collapse. Look at the rail. They're pretty far apart. Yeah. So this must be There's another V8. Oh, this was, uh, this was high grade, uh, uh, quartz, high grade. A uh, gold mine, dude. Check out the native timbers. Oh, it just the smell changed. Check that out. Yeah. I wonder if that's the quartz vein right there. See that? Here, get your light out of there. So. Here, hold this for a second. Hold that right there. So see, this right here is what they're following. That would make sense why the ore chutes are going up that way and the incline's going down that way. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's an old 1800s square nail, probably hand forged. That's deep. Here, hold on. It's, notice the spacing is not even. Often using wooden mine parts, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. Probably don't want to show that. The abandoned line mine lands guys will use this video to lobby the administration for some money to close this place forever. And then nobody will get to see it. Thanks, big brother. A lot of airflow blowing through that. So. This is a good perspective here on the hoist room and then the incline and the sheath wheel would be right up above. So there must be substantial workings below us. Look at, there's a grease bucket. Okay, here's the first, first level. You can see that. You can see the vein there. You see that, Drake? The slice. They were 
This incline is right on it. Yeah, I see it right here. Yeah. And this was the ladder in the middle. You can see the rails there. Actually, see how those are tilted? See how the metal strapping is tilted? That was for a bucket. Yeah, they were just pulling a bucket up here. It didn't have wheels on it. It was just a greased, greasy rails. <sighs> Yeah, what is it? I said, what is it? It doesn't make a whole lot of... Oh, look at that. Cut and fill. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I I love the look of this though. Yeah. The the way that hold on. I gotta get the other light out, stand by. Oh, the color temperature is gonna go. Check that out. Hold on, stop. Shot off into here and then was redirected on another pulley down. Wait, re repeat that again? It looks like there was a second cable that ran alongside you. Okay. It went into a sheave here and was redirected into this drift and then was redirected through another sheave down into another winds. Okay. Let's so it kind of looks like they had like a weird blocking tackle system going here. Here, look here. down. Yeah, right, right there. Look back down. Yeah, more cut and fill. Wow, look at it all. This goes down quite. So, cut and fill. Cut and fill. So it could be way more substantial than what we see outside because they're leaving the waste inside. But, okay, here's another win, another kind of incline winds. Oh, wow. You know, this wood becomes like petrified. You know, this wood is as strong as when it was put in here. And... There's logs. That's just a straight tree. Get your light out of there, Drake. Okay. So what is this like a a, a raise up? The, oh, it is. It's it's a cribbed raise. Well, it's cribbed with unprocessed native timbers. No, no, even better, dude. Look at this. There's a freaking wood peg. Oh, I saw a couple of like that back A there. wood dowel yeah. holding it together. I mean, you want to talk about... Old. Oh, look at that nail. Oh, you can see all the backfill. Spoil rock. Check that out. Check those dowels out. Yeah. Come up here. This is cool. Really? What's up there? Uh, rock retaining wall. The whole wall is just built up, stacked rock. They what was that? This is the room with the wooden bowl wheel. Oh, okay. So this is a point of regress here. This is your escape way. Light it up down, right there. Light it up down at the very end. And I get it out of there. Let 
Right there. Ooh, that's nice. Keep that right there. Wow. That is twerko squirkylicious. So this is all stacked rock. Spoil rock. Waste rock. And they just didn't... Handicap accessible, ADA compliant. Like a buried ore car. Yeah. Hand truck. That's what it looks like. Which makes sense. Right, so what they did is they rerouted that yes. direction of that pulley from the main winds over to here. And then they it went... It went down there. Are those tra are there tracks on that? No. Uh, actually, yes, it's inverted. Okay, continuing down, almost at the bottom. And look at these rope burns here uh, from turning the corner. It looks like they actually greased that log. That's very interesting. That's good. <clears throat> Okay, here's the bottom. It was down to a sub, about 100 feet below us. Really? Yeah, 75. So I wonder if this was the bell, the bottom of the bell signal Looks thing like right here. This, over there, there was like a spooler at the bottom. It looked like they were redirecting it. Check it out. Awesome. Yeah, hold on, what's up? So they were redirecting it that way, which is why this has that elevator. Oh, I I know why. Because the sub continued down. No, because they had the main cable redirected over here. Yeah. But they were using the same bell. Yeah. So that's a hundred. You say a hundred feet down? About. And then it just gets to an undeveloped area. And check this. See. Look for the bell. Right. Probably like that actually. But so you know this is ingenuity when you have to Oh yeah I see they had a looks like a ramp to yeah. dump or something up there. Right. Yeah I, right I, here. Yeah. There was a latch system here. See. Yeah so they were pulling it well you know I mean the abandoned mine lands guys are already going to issue a closer decree f over this video. You know, we don't want to do anything that might trigger them and soil their depends. These people need to retire or die already. Just let them be at peace in their cubicles and stop trolling them. I guess I'm the one trolling them, huh? They're not in cubicles. They're in taxpayer-funded white Chevy vehicles, and they drive around. No, no, no. They use contractors. They sit in. Always, they the, the people the, that write the the people that write the reports. And, yeah, yeah they're but they. BLS. Yeah, but they for the most part they don't do the labor. They just. No, but the people who make those decisions usually come out to these places and look at them and they think that looks scary. I wouldn't do that. Nobody can, because it scares me. In reality, they're just a bunch of testers. What do you call those people that, that get funding for stuff? Like when you have a nonprofit, you have those people that get funding. What do you call those people? Well, oh, grant writers. Grant writers. So what these people do is they write... Damn, is that the fault? Man, see how flat that is? Erasing your history, one great at a time. Denying you of access to your heritage. You're rubbing off on me, Drake. I can see you. Well, deal with it. So you started off, you know what's so painful about closing something like this. I got stage fright boxy. 
You know what's so painful about them coming out here and closing something like this is, I mean, this has been standing for 150 or 200 years, and the people who built this country came out here, and they built all of this with native wood and native tools, and they just used what they had. And this is really integral to the history of the United States and our history and our heritage, and they're going to come out here and just put sand over it and make it look like it was never here. And that's really... That, that's kind of the equivalent of ISIS going out to the Assyrian temples and trashing all of it with bulldozers and bombs to make it look like they were never there. It's erasing the mark that we left and how we built this country. For what? Well, but there's a lack of appreciation for the frontier-cutting immense amount of work that this took because it's underappreciated because now when you're a trust fund kid or you just get a check from the government for having so many babies, you don't appreciate the amount of labor that someone went through to build something like this and the desperation it took and the, the tolls and the life lost and all of that uh, to, to make something like this happen. I mean, this is an incredible amount of work. Labor-wise, this is to blast this they hard had, rock and blasting. Someone had to cut down every tree, I, and then had somebody had, somebody had to hand. I bet they, they were hand mucking yes, this. Yes, they were the shovels. Hand mucking this. They were not. This was not a a diesel. This was all done by hand. Eighteen hundreds. All right, we're back up at the top. We're looking up here. Yeah, there's a lot of fill up there, isn't there? All right, but back, yeah, back at the top. If this is really as old as it appears to be in the records suggest, you know, for it to be steam, there would have had to been water. There would have had to been some type of furnace and a place to to place to vent a place to vent the heat I don't know there's some pieces of the puzzle missing there young and energetic This is the upper most level. Oh yeah, cut and fill. Oh yeah, look at that. your light out of there that is really sensual isn't it you want me to light it up yeah I wonder which one of these we will we'd probably be a little bit deeper huh yeah. yeah they punched they must have found it on the surface and then Work their way down because that went all the way to the surface. You could tell this was abandoned much earlier, and they worked their way down and they took they took this the materials down with them as they went. They removed the material and reused it. More cut and fill. Uh, probably, yeah. A lot of this was uh, Chinese labor. Oh, 
I think. There's a little access. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it goes to the surface. Here's our ore chute that the air is blowing down. You want to go for an ass ride? If I had my gloves, I would do it, but I'm not... Although it's probably safer than... Oh yeah, there's that smell. This must be the face right here. Yep, there it is. So this is the ore chute, and this is like a, a ramp that was in front of it. You can see the legs down there at the bottom. And then that would have gone in front of, of there to, I don't know, what the hand dumping it, hand mucking it? It's from the 1800s, that's a drop of lead. Oh yeah, lead can, lead sealed can, soldered can. So anyway, yeah, this is the upper level, a lot of cut and fill. You can actually see the sunlight out there. So this, this vein of gold probably punched through to the surface. That's how they located it. And you know, very unconventional mine, very bare minimum. And they obviously reuse the track and supplies on lower levels as they worked their way down. They didn't, stuff was not in abundance. So they, what was that? I do. Here, hold on. Cut and fill. Cut and fill alert. Preserved with stannous chloride. Stannous chloride? Wet and wild. Ooh. Yeah. What does that say? Stannous chloride. Here, hold them together so I can like, turn the turn the uh, seven up a little bit the other way. Yeah, turn the bubble up a little bit too to the left. There we go. Okay. All right.